guys welcome back to my channel so as you can probably tell I have a new planner in my life now let me start this by saying obviously most of you know that I love Erin Condren that is the planner that I've been using for the past um, oh gosh probably like five months or so and I absolutely love it I post my weekly planning videos on this channel I post my hauls on this channel. I really love that planner. Now, the only thing that I do not like about the Erin Condren planner is that it's kind of big. And if you don't carry around a large purse or a large tote of some kind, it's rather difficult to take with you. Now, I take my planner and my um, Erin Condren notebook with me to work every single day but that's because I have a big uh, work bag that I use, and so I just put them both in there with my um, Aura Kylie bag of pens and just take it with me. But when I'm going out and about with just my regular um, bag, I can't fit my Erin Condren planner in there nicely. I have a new coach bag, which I'm gonna do a what's in my bag video for you guys soon, so you'll see that. And it just does not fit in there nicely. It's kind of wide. Um, it's a lot wider this way. Uh, and the size is, is just not compatible with a smaller bag. And so I can't carry it with me. So I got on YouTube and I started looking around to see what other kinds of planners were out there. Something that was smaller but still nice. I didn't want to just go to you know Walmart or Target and pick up... Um, you know, one of those planners, which I'm sure there's nice ones out there, but I just wanted to get something a little bit nicer, a little bit more professional, especially uh, if I needed to, you know, use it at work or, um, you know, take it out in a more professional setting and not pull out a little paper, uh, tiny pocket, you know, I'm talking about those little pocket planners. So anyways, I came across Filofaxes. Now I've heard of Filofaxes before, but I've never looked into them. I've never, um, had the desire to get one but when I was looking on YouTube and I saw all these videos I started looking on the Filofax website and oh my gosh they have so many different kinds of Filofaxes so many different kinds so many different sizes it was insane and they are pricey so I got on a Filofax uh, Facebook page and found somebody who was selling uh, the Filofax size that I wanted to try out. So I got this from someone on Facebook and it's in excellent condition. Uh, as you can see, there are no scratches. She never even used it. She bought it uh, and then she decided she wanted a different size, which I guess happens a lot. So um, I got this one and I just wanted to show you guys through it really quickly before I set it up. I uh, just want to, you know, give you a little review of it and my first impressions of the planner I did order some inserts for it I don't know when they're gonna come in so I've got to try to figure out how to use it before those inserts come in it does come with some as you'll see so I got the one with the little snap here and when you open it up it has six card slots right here and then it has a big pocket here in the back that you can use and I've just put um, all my gift cards and this is a little ticket to a movie theater in here so I just keep those in there and then it has and I've switched it around in here a little bit but I haven't added anything then you have your little fly leaf right here your Filofax page and then it came with these cream colored dividers that are numbered one through six so I'm going to be making my own dividers. I'm just using these for now because I haven't had a chance to get into it and I just ordered a punch so I can punch out my um, dividers that I make. But I'm just using these for now while I'm trying to figure out my setup. So under the first tab that comes with these checklists that just say to do and have a little circle to mark off. Section two, I just have a uh, plain lined paper and it did come with pink, green, blue, and white. Then in the third section, it comes with uh, graph paper, which is kind of nice. I don't really use graph paper, but it comes with some. And then it also has some plain paper. In the fourth tab here is just the week on two pages. 
and it has like a little section up here that says this week so I guess you could use that for notes and then you just have Monday all the way through Sunday okay so a couple of things about this number one I don't like that it doesn't have a good space for notes this tiny little space up here is taken up in part by a little monthly calendar um, so it's not enough space second thing I don't like is that the day is written out in five different languages like that's annoying to me um, so I ordered some new inserts that don't have that so hopefully that'll be better um, the size of the box is okay it's not great um, for the whole day especially if I had a lot going on or a lot to do but it's gonna work for what I need it for for now for just an on-the-go in my uh, handbag planner and then I also, just like with Erin Condren, it's Monday through Sunday. I would rather have Sunday through Saturday. That's how we plan our weeks. That's how my husband plans his schedule. Um, it's the work week. I just prefer Sunday through Saturday. So that's how I ordered my new inserts as well. But it comes with all of 2015 uh, week on two pages. And then under section five is a context list, which I don't need. I keep my contacts in my address book. Uh, my Erin Condren address book, which I've shown you guys before. I just kept this in here in case I wanted to write down a couple of, um, you know, like maybe restaurants or business contacts or something in there. And then the last tab has nothing um, behind it. There's no other paper. So that's all the paper that came with the file of facts. And it also came with this ruler that is just removable, you know, to mark your place. And I've just been marking my place with this um, Ollie clip. So then in the back you also have this little um, plastic play insert I guess you can like insert something in the top here and then there's also a uh, business card holder three places there and then you also have a little plastic zippered pocket and then there is a zipper along the back as well with this whole pocket so I really like this all in all, I like the way it looks. This is a, oh, by the way, this is a Raspberry Finsbury Filofax in the personal size. Now, the personal size is perfect to carry in my purse. I've been carrying it around for a couple days now in my purse just to kind of get the feel of it before I start using it, and it's perfect size. Um, the boxes just aren't uh, very big, so it's definitely not something that I could use as my everyday, all day planner, like my Erin Condren. Um, the Erin Condren boxes aren't big either, but you have three boxes for one day, so there's plenty of room to write out everything in those three boxes, you know, for the whole day. So I'm really liking this planner so far for what I need it for, just a on the go kind of thing. I will be setting this up when I get my new inserts, and I will do another video showing you guys how I'm using it. Now, I am finding myself very tempted to get the A5 size, which is like the um, the bigger like notebook desk size. I haven't uh, fully decided on that yet. I'm trying to figure out if that's something I could use here at home or even just at work, um, you know, keep it at work as a desk calendar slash planner for work. So uh, we'll see about that. But um, yeah, stay tuned, and I will be giving you guys a run through of my planner once I get it set up and leave a comment down below let me know if you have a file of facts and how do you like it or if you've tried a file of facts how it compares to your Erin Condren and how it compares to um, another planner so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys later bye